It's supposed to rain tonight. It's a little ugly out here. Not bad, it's just a little ugly. Look at it. funny because I don't know if you guys can tell like I don't get laid based on all this <laughs> fuck you guys <laughs> like one time I saw this really hot girl at the bar and went up to her all confident and shit this is my confident one <laughs> tap her on the shoulder she turned around and go hey I just met you this is crazy <laughs> But here's my number, so call me. Oh, gross. Get away, creep. You look like Scott Peterson. I know. All right, I know. But she looked like Casey Anthony. I thought I had a chance. Our next comic coming to the stage, we actually discovered her at uh, the Ventura Comedy Festival about four years ago. Uh, she just shot a pilot for HBO Latin. She's here tonight. Please give a warm welcome for my friend, this Luz Passos. Let her hear, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, I'm here with my funny friend, Luz Passos. Say hi, Luz. Hi. Luz has had a killer set. I, I want to get married again, and this time for the right reasons. Life insurance, that's the American way, right? How long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, five years. Five years? Where are you from originally? Peru. Peru? And when, when did you move to America? Six years ago. What would you say are some of the challenges of being a foreigner and a comedian? Oh, well, uh, the accent is a big thing. Like, if people don't understand one thing you say, that joke is all fucked up. So, what accent? I can't even tell. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Are you self-conscious about the accent? Not anymore. Like, for com I'm comfortable. For TV, it could be a little tricky, yeah. but for what I do, it's fine. You could have subtitles. Yeah, we can have good in the time. <laughs> what advice would you give to any young female comic who wants to get involved in the scene? Number one, uh, just go to a lot of open mics before doing shows. Don't hook up with any male comic, they are nasty. They want to help you, but they really want to sleep with you, so don't talk to people that you can look up to. Do you ever worry that someone books you for a show because they're trying to sleep with you? Oh yeah, sometimes they do it. I, I use that on my advantage, like yeah. sometimes I know he <laughs> yeah, wants to. Yeah, of course to. I'll come up. I come down, I do my job, and he books me again because I did a good job. A lot of relationships in comedy stuff like that. Guys that want to hook up with you, but then they they see that you're funny and then they keep booking you. Now, what are some of the challenges of dating in general as a comic? Ah, with guys, it's terrible because guys, like my type of guys, the Latino protective, that wants to provide for his woman, and those type of guys don't like me hanging out with guys late at night or going on the road in the car with other two guys or like having to share hotel rooms and other guys because there is not enough money. Yeah. And going on the road, like being at the comedy club late night with guys, it's, it's bad. They don't like it. They get jealous and it's always bad. It's always bad. Now, do you work well with other female comics? Yeah, but they never have two girls in a show, you know? Uh, girl, a girl, just in porn. No comedy. They don't want two girls in a show, never. I host a show every Monday at the comedy store. That is Comedy Madness, and that's my favorite because I've been hosting it for four years. And when I started, the comedy store was so hard. I couldn't do crowd work. Everybody hated on me. It was terrible. And now I, it's my show, and I love it. And everybody loves me. And I know everybody. So it's kind of my show, you know. Five years from now, where do you see yourself? Hopefully, I will be headlining. Yeah, no, come on, you can start headlining with, within yeah, and I can the buy four a or five house years. In the valley, maybe. There you go. Now, where do you see? <laughs> First of all, you're very pretty, so it's not hard to edit this, Thank okay? You. What do you say to people who say that women can't be funny and pretty? Oh, that's the brown. Women, we can be really funny, and if you're hot, you can be fun of what happened to you when you're hot, that, like what I do. And do you have any advice for, for uh, a young... When you're hot? Yeah, I got advice for that. <laughs> you, want, you want me to tell you a thing or two about being hot? I'll tell you what it's like. Do you have any advice for uh, a young female foreign cop? Oh, female hot. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant me. <laughs> Absolutely. You should sex appeal. Forget being funny. Just use your sex appeal. She's funny, though. I'm not saying she's 
not funny, she's funny, but you just fix it to it. It works too, right? But guys, Loose Passos, check her out online. Check out her show, Comedy Madness, at the World Famous Comedy Store in Hollywood on Monday. Thank you so much, Loose, for being Thank on the episode. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll be again soon, okay? Thank you. Check her out, guys. Check me out on Yelp. I, I like to rate different norms <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> I like to head up at Denny's now and then. Uh, occasionally, I like to go to Whole Foods. I just go down the aisles, I don't buy anything. I'm not made out of money. Find me on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> it's somewhere. Uh, find me on Groupon. I love, I love, I love getting bargains and sharing it with people. That's one of my favorite things to do. I feel like Survivor Man right now. Man, Jeff's trying to you get me. So when I film him, he's all bashful. But when he has, uh, that's it. <laughs> I'm off the clock. <laughs> It's raining in Ventura. So we pull up a big crowd. Freaking love this crowd tonight, man. They're so good. I hear the crowd. They're a great crowd. They're a great, great crowd. A great Friday night crowd. It's raining. It's raining outside, and we have, I wouldn't say a packed house, but we definitely have a full house. In California, that's a really good sign that people come out in the rain. So thank you so much. Tomorrow's night's gonna be even better. Thank you so much for everyone who came out tonight and supported and laughed at my jokes. I'm in a really good mood today. Maybe it's because it's Friday, maybe because I'm going to Disneyland Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Say bye, George. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna get the camera right. Oh, he cornered me. He made it rain so he could corner me. <laughs>